hey guys welcome back to ask each hour with etanam your channel for authentic hr content you know you're the best person to tell us who you are but usually when this question comes up for some very interesting reason people get jittery scared some just totally go blank uh, some time back i facilitated a 10-week session with some students on career planning and development and what i did to help them pitch who they are or talk about who they are freely without any nerves was to make sure that each and every one of them took turns to tell the entire class who they are for the 10 weeks and after the session most of them were confident about describing themselves in two minutes without having to feel the nerve the fear and all of that i'm sure most of you would wish you could enter a new role transition into a new company and all of that without an interview well that is a possibility but usually expect that there would be an interview so in today's video as part of our series on answering interview questions well you will definitely be asked to tell me about yourself an interviewer will ask you tell me about yourself how do you go about answering that question there are a number of reasons though an interviewer would ask you that and there are different kinds of interviews so if you find yourself in a stress interview for instance that question is asked to unnerve you to assess how you um able to respond under pressure however usually most interviewers are asking you tell me about yourself because they want a summary of your professional experience and they also want to see how you highlight the skills that are most relevant to the job in a nutshell we just want to know who you are so like most interview questions it's best to always prepare to come in I mean, if you be asked, tell me about yourself, why won't you just prepare a short summary of what you really want to sell to your interviewer? It's really, really important and necessary that you prepare. Now, in preparing, I would want us to consider some questions that will help us structure our response. So in answering those questions, you are structuring how you are going to communicate um, to your interviewer who you are. So the first question you ask yourself is, what qualities make me stand out or what qualities make me unique? It could be a specialization, a technical skill or even your years of experience. So have that handy. What makes me stand out or what makes me a great fit for this role? That should be question number one you ask yourself. Question number two, ask yourself, why am I even interested in this role? What is it about this job that excites me? If you're able to push that in there in your response, every employer is looking for someone who is excited about my company and what we are doing. So what excites me? How does it fit into my long-term career goal? So that's the second thing you should be asking yourself. The third thing you should ask yourself is, why am I interested in this particular company and why even this industry? You should have done your research about the industry or the company, what they stand for, their mission, their vision, their goals, their objectives. How does it fit into my career goals and how does it even align with my own values? What are the current trends in the industry and what does the future look like? So your, your answer should be structured speaking to all these things. And finally, if there's something unique about your background that you can just push in there, and what I mean by that is, let's say you're a programmer, for instance, and you've been doing this since you were six, that will get any interviewer hooked. So you just search your background. Have you, do you have something unique, something that makes you stand out? I don't know how many programmers start programming at six, but something like that will get the interviewer hooked. And that's what you want, because at the end of the day, the purpose of answering this question excellently is so that after you've left, 
out of all the hundred people that were interviewed, you will be the one the interviewer remembers. Now let's get into answering this question, tell me about yourself. One, you mentioned your past experiences, your past successes. Those are the things you want to highlight in answering this question. And I suggest you use the, what we call the STAR model. So a situation you found yourself in the task that was required, the action you took and the results that you got. So you pick a real life situation you've dealt with, the action you took and the results that you got from it and highlight this in your response to tell me about yourself. So one tip I can give you in that is by this time, you've already read the job description. You've looked at the required skills they are looking for. So what you can do is pick out one of those skills. If problem solving is one of the required skills, we've all solved problems one way or the other in different situations. So you pick one of that and then you craft your narrative around it. So what was the situation? What was the task at hand? What action did you take and what results did you get? The second thing you want to consider in answering this question is that always relate what you are doing currently to the job they are interviewing you for. Because at the end of the day, you just want this interviewer to be convinced, I have the ability, I have what it takes to be able to do this job. For instance, you're in a junior role, transitioning into a, a senior role for this job you are interviewing for. You highlight how in your current role, even though this is what you do, you've had to take on higher responsibilities and give specific examples about that. If you're making a lateral transition into a completely different role, this is where you highlight transferable skills. So these are soft skills that you can apply in multiple roles or even multiple industries. So I'm talking problem solving, analytical thinking, communication, stuff like that. You highlight how you've developed those skills and how you are able to apply to this particular job you are being interviewed okay. for. The third thing you want to consider in answering this question is Focus on strengths and abilities that you can support with specific examples, okay? So focus on details and outcomes that you can quantify. For instance, if you say, during my time, I helped increase customer service. It's not as strong, compelling, and powerful as when you say, during my time, I led a team to increase customer service satisfaction by 15 to 20% every quarter. So you've painted a very clear picture. They have an idea what you can do. They can see your ability in the numbers. So always make sure that you give details and specifics. Now, since tell me about yourself basically is to get to know you, it will be great to break the eyes by telling the people or letting them in on your personality. And please listen carefully. I said personality no personal details because that's the mistake a lot of people make so they say tell me about yourself and people go on and on about the food they like their hometown their siblings spouse you know that's excess so highlight your personality and by this i mean mention hobbies for instance that highlight your intellectual development like reading and researching or community engagements like volunteering so you are looking for things that speak to the elephant in the room, which is the job. Things that don't relate to it. Make sure you steer clear of those. I've addressed in a previous video, 10 things you should never say in an interview. I suggest you check that video out for more details on this. Finally, always have a structure so that your response will be clear and natural. Okay, so what I'm saying in this video is that prepare to answer this question. However, you know when you sit across from someone and just reciting something by root is obvious and you don't want to do that. So you get used to this content you've developed until you're able to say it, speaking naturally as though you're speaking to your friend. So you can use this format, past, present, future or present, past, future. So what you are doing currently, 
what you've done in the past and what you're doing in the future or what you did in the past what you are doing now and what you intend to bring to the table now all that said let's look at one real life example so let's use me as an example i'm in an interview room and the interviewer says tell me about yourself i began my career in retail management however in the last few years i've been drawn to the healthcare space i've always been skilled in leading people and managing teams and this led me to consider a career in administration for the last five years, I've built a career in health administration. In my current role at Global Health, I manage a team of six people. And my personal focus has been to improve efficiency, especially as it relates to client outcomes. Last year, for instance, I liaised with the IT department in purchasing and integrating an enterprise resource planning software. And this has really improved our healthcare system and has also improved our communication with clients. I've really enjoyed my work so far and I look to bring in the experiences that I've gained to join your organization. So you see, that's an excellent way of answering this question. And whatever you do, try to keep your answer under two minutes or maximum two minutes. No when people are just going on and on about themselves. Yes, we asked you tell me about yourself, but please don't take it overboard. Try to keep your answer within two minutes maximum. Thank you so much, guys. So there you have it. There's no fear about answering the question, tell me about yourself. So just like any other interview questions, make sure you're just relaxed and let the information inside you flow. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I want to know what your thoughts are. Have you had the experience where your mind just went blank when you were asked, tell me about yourself? Please share with us in the comment section, like and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my subsequent videos. Thank you so much.